Hi, in this video you will learn how to open up a new window in JavaFX. So often when we have a program up and running, which I've shown in one of my previous videos, uh, we have this example application with Hello World. We would want to open up another window, maybe uh, something like a dialog box or something that will ask us for something, type in some information, and then um, close that window again. So in this video, I'll just briefly show how to do that. So before we continue, um, we need something to actually trigger opening a new window. So what I want to do is I want to add something to my FXML file. So uh, first thing I want to do is getting rid of this grid pane and replacing it with something else. So I'll just delete that and then use an anchor pane instead because it's a bit easier to work with for, for this example. And then I want to go for controls. I put a button here, put it somewhere in the middle, change the text, open new window, like that, sorry, rearrange the button, like that, save this, and try to reopen the program. And um, what I can see is that it doesn't really resize, that's because in the default in IntelliJ's um, JavaFX implementation, if we look into the main file, we can see it says uh, new scene, root, and then it forces it to be 300 times 275. So we don't want that, we want it to just follow, if we want it to just follow the pane, the anchor pane size, I can, I can actually just remove this and then it will just follow the size of the anchor pane. Like that. So I want to be able to click the button and open up a new window. So how do I do that? So first off, of course, I need to do something that will uh, enable this button to actually do something. So I'm going to create an action event on this button, meaning if I click the button, activate the button, then I do something. So I go to the code part and I go for on action, which for a button means whenever it's pressed, either by using the mouse or if it's a touch screen, or if you're using keyboard for navigating the program, the on action will also work. So click open window, not windows, click open window and I'll click somewhere else and save and go back uh, and try to so, so now I have um, put something here, but the corresponding uh, method that it actually calls is missing in the controller. We can auto generate this uh, quite easily if we go into the text part, switching from the view viewing the WYSIWYG or the what you see is what you get editor to the text editor, we can see that it added a button here with this on action event. An easy way to add this is to go here and then just, um, let me just see, let me make it, okay, so that is not, so we use instead, hmm, Okay, so the reason why we can't just uh, do it like that is because I failed to specify the controller. So when I deleted the uh, grid pane, I forgot to specify uh, which controller that it actually uses. For some reason, the controller isn't uh, visible in here. I don't know if I do like this. I can't really see it, it should be 
down here somewhere. Okay, we'll do it manually. So we need to specify, if we look at the first line, the top root element here, we need to specify the controller, which is the controller file here. So we have to write fx controller. And then in here, we need to put the path for uh, the controller. If we look inside the controller, we can see it's in the package called sample and then controller. So it would be sample dot controller. So we'll try control space. We can actually see sample here. We do dot control space again, or it automatically pops up and then controller. So now I bound the uh, anchor pane to the controller. So now I can use this one to create the method as I wanted to do before. I just forgot that I deleted the controller this way. So now I can create the method automatically. We get a public method that's called click open window. And we also get an action event. And this is one way to, to do it. We'll make it public like this. That means that any class from the outside will be able to call this method. We could also, uh, actually we can make it private, but then we would need to use the at FXML notation to um, make it visible to the FXML uh, classes. So. If I do like this, I can actually keep it private so that it can only be used by the by the FXML JavaFX uh, um, framework. So let's try to do something like system out print line and then just print it works. And let's see if we can get that to work actually. So I'll start out the program and we get it works. So that means the button is now coupled to this uh, method here. If you're in doubt, if you need to make it public or use annotation, I would definitely recommend always using the annotation because then um, it's, it's better encapsulated than if you use the public one. In the public one, you'll, uh, this, method it is only meant to be used from the fxml file so i think it would be wrong to just expose it everywhere without doing it actively so by default i think this should be what you want to do and i don't know why intellij does it with the public um by default but i would definitely recommend to do it like this okay so the topic was actually to open a window and we haven't even reached that yet but let me show you how to do that. So how do we open a window in JavaFX? So if we go into our main file, we can actually see how to do it. So what happens here is we launch uh, the JavaFX framework with this uh, static method called launch. And the arguments, whatever coming from um, the main up here, the runner up here, whatever arguments are here that goes into launch. And then that launch will do its magic with uh, setting up everything with JavaFX. And then it will kind of call back by calling this method called start. So, and this is where we gain back the control. So it's no magic here. What we are doing is we're loading an FXML file into something called a parent. And this, the name of the parent here is root. We could call it anything. So what this actually does, it loads the FXML file into memory so that we can use it as an, as an instance or an object of parent. So um, the, the parent node is also a uh, node that we can use for setting the scene. So if we want to create a new scene, um, in Java FX, we use the new scene like this, and then we put, uh, the actual, uh, resource in here, the root, the parent here. So this way we will make a new scene with the contents of the FXML file into that scene. So in Java FX, I might explain that, uh, the primary window is, 
is in JavaFX they call that the stage and the contents of that window uh, is called the scene. So what we do here is first we load the file into uh, a root element. Then we set the title of the primary stage, which we get handed from the actual JavaFX application. We get that here. We see it's a parameter here. So we get this, the first stage, we get that for free. And then we uh, set the title, we set the scene, and then we show it. So that means we set the contents of that window or that stage, we set that contents or in JavaFX language, the scene, we set that to whatever content is within the FXML file and we show it. So we kind of want to do the same thing. So I'm going to copy this because what it really does is just it opens up a new window. So I go to my controller and I just paste it in here and let's see what problems we get. Okay. So there are two problems we get. One of them is load. Because load can go wrong if the file is not present or there's a read error from the disk or whatever happens, uh, we can get a, what is called an exception. So we can get a problem that will make the program crash. And in Java, these kinds of exceptions needs to be handled. In this case, we can cheat a bit. So I can go here and I can just say add exception to method signature. And that will actually just throw the exception upwards uh, to whoever calls this. And in this case, it's the JavaFX system. So that means I'll let JavaFX handle that. And the way it will do that is crashing the program and giving us a stack trace, which is uh, fine for now. So now I fix that one. I need the primary stage here. So what is primary stage over here? It was actually, I was just given the stage, but here I'm not giving any, given any stage. I actually need to create a new stage, which is, which is it, it is called in JavaFX, or I want to have a new window. So I want to have a new stage and we know how to create a new uh, instance of something. We need to initialize it with the constructor, which we does by saying, stage equals new stage. And we need to pick the JavaFX stage like that. And we don't need uh, to specify anything when we create the stage because the other stuff, we'll do that later, setting the title and scene and so on. So now it says primary stage. I'll just switch that with stage like that. And now we can open up a new window. So let's set another title, title to another world. No, another window. So this way, uh, the titles will be different. Let me show you. So we run the program, which will go in the main and create and show our primary stage, which is the primary window, which is called Hello World, because we set the title here, create the new scene, put the anchor pane and buttons that I created before, and it shows it here. When I click this one, it actually opens up a new window similar to this one, because uh, it uses the controller where I'm actually loading the same FXML file as before. So that means that I'm actually just making kind of a clone of itself, but you can see it's on another stage because I set the title to another window. So we can see it's not the same and I can actually do more of them if I want to, um, as many as I want, because they're all different stages to the same window. So we can close them again. So that's how to do it actually open up something new. So what if, what if I want this uh, sample FXML right now, this is my only FXML file. What if I want to have open up something else? Oftentimes we don't want it to open itself. It's kind of weird. So if we look in our source now, we only have one FXML file. So what we could do is we could create a new uh, FXML file 
And then we could name that cool. So now we have a new FX method. We can watch it here in Scene Builder. We could put a, something like a label in here, controls, label. Just change that into cool. And maybe put some larger font like this and maybe something a bit more cool like uh, this one. Okay. So now we have that. We'll just uh, save that for a second. Go back, see it's here. Go into, this is these two sample and controller are bound and cool doesn't have a controller right now. We don't care. We just actually want to open up that one instead. So I'll just write cool in here and it will still have the title of another window because cool itself is not a window. You can also see if we look in scene builder, uh, the menu part or the top part of the window is not here. That's part of the stage. So we are only creating content for a scene. So let's click here, open a new window. Oops, there's something wrong. Let's see what that is. That is pretty clear. I, I wasn't, I didn't see that it actually sets an FXML controller like this by default. So there is a controller. Let's just create uh, that controller. So now it's called cool, probably a bad name for that controller. Then we should be able to run the, the program. We could also just remove the FX controller tag, but so now, and it's not the same window. We can see it's a different window. We can make all the other windows that we want. And this is, this is basically how to open up uh, new windows. So let's close them again. So this is um, to open up new windows. In other videos, I'll show how to move data between uh, the different windows, how we can do that and other stuff as well, like closing the windows again and make th making them dependent. That's it for now.